So guys, welcome back to the forest. If you look at where the tip of my katana is right now, that's one, two, three, four, five, and then you can see another group coming from left to right. That's kind of a theme that's going on in the forest at the moment. The attacks from the can are you kidding me? There's no way they saw me from all the way over there. Just stay low and hope they don't see me. Hope they move off. Just go away. If you guys didn't know, the forest has become a lot more dangerous than it used to be. The attacks from the cannibals... Okay, I've been waiting for a couple of minutes just so I don't bring these guys to the area that I want to show you all today. It's actually really important that I actually try and lose any tales that I get from the cannibals or mutants in this episode. But if you guys remember the previous episode, we were all over at the survivor camp. But since then, everyone's kind of branched off and done their own thing, built their own bases and defenses. And I was going to make the rounds, seeing as though it's first thing in the morning, I was just going to go around and make sure everyone's bases was okay. And then I just bumped into these guys. My worst fear would be bringing a bunch of cannibals or mutants back to somebody's base. The reason we're at the far edges of the snow biome, literally just underneath the mountain, is because the first base that I want to show you all, and check on, is Bell's base. Now I did see what Bell, I'm so paranoid that they're going to come just around the bottom of this rock. Kind of looks like his base is exposed, but I'm seeing defenses there. I can see a couple of traps too. All right, let's just go and take a look at it. Now, from what I can tell at first glance, yeah, it does. This reminds me of like Helm's Deep. Look at this. Look how cool this scenery is. That's a screenshot right there. But this is actually one of my most favorite places in the forest. And it's actually an area where I wanted to build a base myself. Like I wanted to cover this whole thing in a huge base. It would have just taken way too long for me to finish. He's got like a bunch of traps and stuff. He's got, he's definitely got the Helm's Deep look. The one thing that I'm waiting for, every single time I see that mountain, I'm just waiting for the one day where the devs release something in the patch notes that says you can now use the climbing axe to scale the mountain. One of the things that I thought they'd use, which I'm assuming this is the area where Bell's built, is that the climbers, in fact, I know he's put them here because I know what he's done to the bodies, but the climbers behind these walls, which we're about to see in a second, if taking their equipment or something and just using it to climb to the top and not do anything just look at the island i think it's so sick all right back to what we're here to do so let's take a look at his base everything looks okay i'm just gonna grab the repair tool just to make sure it's always a good idea to do this just in case you see any minor damage on something a couple of deadfall traps which are apparently the loudest thing in the world now whenever they go down got two entrances too i never noticed that the first time it's actually pretty secure though. I like what he's done with like the second levels too. All right, let's just go inside. Pop this up. Just hope none of them saw me then. In fact, I'm just gonna double check. Because while I'm talking to you guys, if I hear them just beating down the doors of Bell's base, I'll feel so bad. My job today is just to check on it, which people have been doing by the way. The rest of the survivors have been making trips around to everybody's base, just to make sure everything's okay. All right, we look good. I think they moved off around that direction. I like this. Pretty well thought out. He's got the high ground, in case he needs it, in case the defenses aren't a match for the cannibals or mutants. And then behind that, he's got like a second vault system. Or the airlock system, as most people know it. Another door. This is the tent, and this is where the climbers would be. And Bell's kind of gone ahead and made a grave for them. Something that I mentioned in previous episodes, I think it'd be a nice touch if there was like a mechanic you could just dig certain areas or even pre-made areas in the game where you could pick the survivors up like you do with the cannibals and just place them in. Kind of like the final resting place. I really want to climb that thing. I really do like this area though. All right, let's take a look at what he's getting inside. Stop marveling at the area for you to show everyone what everyone's built. So he's got a crap ton of deer skin. Now, real quick guys, one of the things that we've implemented on the server is a trading system. So say for example, if Bell traded me a couple of deer skin, I would either owe him to help him with a job, either building up a base, going hunting for something, collecting supplies, going down into, you know, the vault area underneath the ground in the sinkhole or something, or I'd have to pay him back with the equivalent of what he gave me. The only thing that gets expensive with trading is medical supplies because 
they're far and few in between. You've got to go to select places to get them. But it's kind of a cool touch that we've got on the server. He's got a mannequin too. He's got all the deer skin. Look at this. Wait, do I have any deer skin? You know what? I'm going to take four deer skin and I'm going to pay him back. Which now basically means now that I've taken that deer skin, I'm going to owe Bell a job or I'm going to have to bring him back four deer skin or something that he wants in return. We can always trade up offers like negotiate too. That's part and parcel of being in this environment. You're trying to survive. He's got some sticks. He's got his log shelters there. He's got plenty of logs too. He's pretty much set. Like, I would imagine that Bell bit would have built something big. But in the area that he is, he's pretty well fortified. I'm just going to try something real quick. I'm going to climb up the top of this and see if there's any easy access ways for the cannibals to get across and jump down. That's one of the main reasons why I never build against like a higher ground behind my base. Because I'm always fearful that there's going to be a mutant that just falls in. Now one of the things as well, just before I do climb up that, I'm, I need to let you guys know because just in case you guys are thinking of getting your own server and stuff, as of right now, at the time of me recording this video, the gardens in the game just don't seem to work. I mean you can plant them and they will grow stuff to an extent, but either when you save or relog, they'll just disappear. It's all part and parcel of the devs fine tuning the way the servers are, but I mean it's a small problem for something that we've got that's really cool, which is our own servers now. So alright, let me grab the climbing axe. Here we go. I'm going to climb all the way up. The only reason I'm doing this is just to make sure Bell's base is safe. I'm not going to criticize his base. That's not what I'm here to do. I want to show you guys what everybody's built. And I want to make sure that the area is safe. Because you guys just saw how many cannibals went from left to right then. Alright, we should be at the top. Is it still going to do that weird glitch? Don't fire me up. Don't fire me up, please. Okay. We're good. Look at that view. I actually really like this area. I'm a little bit jealous, I'm not going to lie, that Bell started to build here. It's actually a really cool view. Alright, let me take a quick glance over this way. Now, there is access for the cannibals to get up that way. I just don't know if they're going to be able to get up that rocky area, which is kind of at the very tip of where the climbing axe is now. I know there's a way to get up that way. But I think... I don't think they bother with that. He could do so much with this stuff. Look at all this land he's got. Alright. I think we're going to do something cool to get back down. Here we go. Not going to lie, I panicked for a second that I didn't think it was going to latch on. So this is Bell's base. Now I did take four deer skin. I'm going to take a couple of arrows too, just in case. Because I might need them on the way back. In fact, I'm pretty well, I'm pretty stacked for stuff. I've, I've got plenty of supplies and things, so... Alright, how are we doing for water? I may take a little bit of water. I hope Bell doesn't see this, because I know it's going to happen when he does. He's going to bill me for everything that I've taken. Alright, let's just go. I'm going to make sure everything's locked up. Everything seems to be okay. I know this is one of the areas where the cannibals tend not to attack as much. It's one of the safer areas on the map. I say that because nowhere is exactly safe anymore because of the way the cannibals have been acting. Alright, I think what we're going to do now, we're going to go to different locations on the map. For the main part of this video, we're going to be going sweeping around the left side all the way up to that side of the island. So, next stop, I think, is my base. But I did see what looked like an outpost through that tree line when I was going throughout the night time to this point. So, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, so we're back. And this is what I caught a glimpse of through the night. Now, I don't know if this is anybody's base or if it's an outpost. I do know a few of the survivors have been placing outposts throughout the island, just in case you're far away from your base and you just need somewhere to stop for the night. But I'm thinking this is more like somebody's base, it just needs a little bit more work. You know what, we're going to check it over just in case. This is when your base is most vulnerable, when you're building the beginnings up. A little bit of food, probably not the best of ideas if I put some food on there for them. Might draw them in. All kinds of stacks of wood. A little water collector there. I like this. That's really cool. Little stairs going up, little fire. Yeah, this is definitely somebody's base. They're building up. They're slowly just getting everything together to build up. Can we get in there? That's actually pretty cool too. I don't know if that's intentional. But, okay. Wait, wait. Alright, I thought we were just going to get stuck. But that's actually a pretty cool idea. Making sure that the door doesn't always open. Wait, can they get in through the other side? Okay, so I think I've checked pretty much everything apart from this. Is this taking any damage? No, everything seems to be okay. I did hear the cannibals over in that direction, so I don't want to hang around for too long. But there is one thing 
that has bugged the bejesus out of me for so long with this. And considering how many logs this structure takes to build, and this thing here, the gap. Does that bug anybody else? I can't make this in the game anymore just simply because of that. Alright, let's keep moving. My base isn't far from this location. Hopefully, if there are any cannibals, they'll follow me to mine. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that there was just none left in the area, especially with that new base. But at the same time, this is the area where I've chosen to build. And I don't know why, but for whatever reason, this area seems to attract armsies. I've never seen anything like it. But I think we're good. I don't think there's any groups coming along. Let me just check near the shore. I normally see them come along that path towards the base. But this area is actually really weird and it's an area that I've never really built before. It's kind of half in the snow biome and half not. But this is what I ended up with. I kind of went for an old school build that I've built before with pretty much a tight perimeter. Oh wait, my traps have been set off. Wait, all my traps have been set off. Why is there no bodies? Even this one. How many sticks do I have? I've more than enough to reset them. I'm just gonna go around. This has happened before where the traps have gone off and there's just no sign of the cannibals. I mean, I've been on the server today for a good two hours at least. There's a couple of logs there as well. I don't know, maybe just someone come along to maybe check on the base, got attacked and just didn't reset them. I need to do something about this area too. But this is my build. This is what I've decided to go for. When I started building this, it was just literally one level with that kind of... What would you class that as? Like a balcony area? I wanted it to look like those old school American... What do you call them? A porch? Like I've done on other builds before. So in fact, let me just take you guys in. So we've got the front gate and then we've got going up to the first level or the bottom floor. We've got all the arrows, the bone baskets on the tables. I don't know, I think that looks kind of cool, like especially when they're all filled as well. This is gonna be obviously for all the skins. It's just two of the racks stacked together. And we've got the second level, which I'll show you guys in a second, but this is... What the fuck was that? Is that the picks? I can honestly tell you guys, I've never heard the pigs make that noise before. I thought it was armsy for half a second, but this is what I ended up with. So we got like a little chair that we can just sit on, just kind of gaze out into the forest. And then we got the table next to it as well. Now, this is something that I wanted to play around with for a while. This is my idea of what a barbecue would look like in the game. I don't know why I made it, but it kind of turned out pretty cool. So I managed to keep it. So it's just a couple of rocks with obviously a fire underneath, a little bit of wood, and then the back, obviously, so it doesn't burn the wood behind it if I put any meat on there while it tries to cook. I don't know. Let me light so we can show you guys. There we go. Stoke the fire up a little bit. Now, hopefully sometime in the future that the devs will implement some kind of barbecue. I don't know. I've always said, especially in the live streams, that whenever I get the question, what would you add to the game? Just more custom options, more customizable, buildable things in the game. Just little weird shit like this, like a barbecue or something. I love stuff like this. But just the ability to place like meat, raw meat on the top of that and just let it cook. Or something to this effect anyway. I don't know. I just put this here just for looks. We got nothing in that. But yeah, this is pretty much the bottom floor. Go up to the second level. I've always got to keep an eye out as well for any of these armies because they completely destroyed the walls last time. 
but this is the second level so you come up the stairs and this is pretty much it i went for a bit of a different build this time i wanted to make a huge room and just kind of fill it however i wanted it to look depending on what i wanted to build i knew i wanted some stairs going in kind of all the way around i was a little bit disappointed with this because i couldn't put the stairs going across this way without obstructing these stairs it was really awkward i think it's just because of how wide i made it like too wide on each side but yeah i don't know i think it came out pretty good so we go up to this level i've not like filled all this in yet i'm gonna throw i think some storage in i don't know i might add something if you guys have got any cool ideas what i could add here i'll definitely do it but like just some stock some resources some medical supplies the paintings kind of timmy's corner right here look at that those paintings they give me goosebumps guys every time i look at them i'm not even kidding down onto this level got like the two mannequins one for the the heavy duty armor which would be the bone armor and then the stealth stuff which is what i've been using more often than not actually to give you guys a bit of an idea of in this biome how different it's been for me 90 percent of the time with my other builds i would use the bone armor but in this biome i've used nothing but this and the deer skin it's actually pretty crazy it's like i definitely heard something then I know sometimes it may sound like I'm saying that. No, I thought I heard something. Let's see how, what he does with this wall. Son of a bitch. He's trying to break it down. And this is why I say, guys, use the poison arrows. If I can bait him round to the front, maybe the deadfall trap will get him. Wait, what's he doing? That is the creepiest fucking thing! Look how close we are. That was so... Okay, we're gonna go... Wait, which side should we go? Should we go around this side? I'd rather take this one down because the other one is two. It's definitely the loudest thing in the world. Build this back up. Where did he go? I definitely need to make some stairs behind these walls just so I can peek at them. Where the hell did he go? that pig but this goes hand in hand with what i was saying before like this area is totally alien to me because i'm used to being in the thick of the forest and this is kind of half in the snow biome and half not i mean it mainly is but then all i've got to do is go down this area and then i'm out the snow biome it's weird like the noises that i'm hearing as well all right i think we should just keep moving on pretty sure the base is good to go i love the look of those deadfall traps you guys remember that that's from a while ago when i discovered you could do it but that's pretty much my base i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i think i may add like another level to the top and do something cool with it but i don't want to spoil it for you guys but if anyone's got any cool ideas that we could do let me know in the comments all right next will be i think it's going to be craze base he's going for like a, a shore base now in the past when i've checked oh wait okay okay this is this is soldier's base see what he's got going on if you guys didn't know you can actually get down those rocks without hurting yourself as long as you kind of hold back against the rocks 99 percent of the time when i go down them it, do it doesn't hurt me anyway that was a trap am i just going back shit and say oh no no i thought i could hear something okay that was a miss is he trying to go inside the base you'd be calling anything in it's the whole point of us being out tonight guys so we can take care of this Did you see him trying to get inside the base though yeah he's been concentrating on building around the outside oh this is cool like a little airy just to mask the fire i like that let's take a look at the top floor what he's got going on so i think he's going to be building out of like half stone half wood and then you can see up to my base too pretty much my closest neighbor really cool design though like he's, he's mixed it all in together he's got the stone the wood looks like he's building more up there and i think he might still even keep going up but it's really cool just and he's got like a balcony area too it's really cool to see like other people's designs on bases because like i said before you guys only ever see mine so i thought it'd be cool to like show you all he's got like a little chair here too just to look out into the forest kind of similar to me all right let's go back outside has he blocked off that entrance too 
All right, this is actually a good area to build as well, as long as you don't mind like traveling for the logs and stuff. The one thing I remember about building my base on the top of that area there was once you cleared out the area of logs, it really did become a bitch with the travel. Okay, so we're back and we should be coming up on Craze build. There it is. He's going for one of the more crazier designs. He's got like two builds together joined up. Just make sure there's no damage to the bottom of this. Again, the best way to tell if this has been taking any hits from the cannibals or mutants, just grab that repair tool and scan the area as best you can. If you see anything that needs repairing, you want to try and do it as quick as possible. Especially with a structure like this. If those beams at the bottom take a lot of damage, it's going to bring the whole thing down. It's actually clever what he's done there, because if this one comes down, at least he's got another in the ocean, which is harder for the cannibals to get. He's got like a little dock too. I haven't seen this yet. He's got the rafts. Yeah, he's got like a whole little dock area. I wonder if this is fixed in the game. Like I mentioned before, guys, the devs are still trying to work out everything for the servers, but this is something that isn't working yet, the rafts. Or at least it's not on our server. I don't know about everybody else's. I can't speak for everybody else's, but the rafts don't seem to work on ours. Hopefully soon, though. All right, let's just take check the structure of the bottom of this. Oh, wait. There we go. That had taken a little bit of damage. Okay, so just spent a couple of minutes just trying to organize everything for him so when he gets back, everything just isn't upside down like the forest normally does when you get back to your base. But let's take a look inside. Now, if I remember right, I know Cray's been pretty busy working on building things up rather than collecting materials. So if we've got anything we can give him... All right, he's got no explosives. Let's see how many we can give him. One, two, and that's all we have. Can I make another one? I've only got one watch. I'm gonna keep that on me just for now, just in case there's any mutants at any of the other bases that we need to visit. He's got a little bit of deer skin, a couple of meat. I think we can give him a little bit of alcohol just to make some molotovs with, or maybe just to make some bombs of his own. What else we got? little area here now Cray did let me know that he experienced a really weird bug and this is just a heads up to anyone else as well if you've got like a small build where it's kind of quite tight inside like this and you lock the doors and then save the game there is a weird bug that when you log back in you're teleported to outside rather than back to where you saved which would be inside with the locked doors and then that means you can't get back in so just be aware of that guys especially on the server side i like this though everything's connected up let's see what he's got in here Again, I can't imagine he's got too much because he's been concentrating. Oh, yeah, he's actually got a few things made up. He's got the tables, he's got the bed, the chair. A couple of skull lamps. What's this? How has that happened? But this is another thing. Every single person's base is different. That's what I really love about this. No one's base is exactly the same. Like, look at this. It's just such a wacky design. But in Cray's mind and in the rest of the survivors' mind, they know how they're going to finish this up. They know what they're going to do with it. Everything's going to have a purpose to defend themselves from the cannibals and mutants. All right, I think we should be good. Let's jump into the ocean. You gotta make it look cool. All right, let's head over to the next one. I believe the next one, in fact, we need to go back because the next one should be up there. Okay, so this next base that we're coming up on should be Sabrina's. Now, Sabrina and Soldier were the last two survivors that we found on the island. And we really don't know too much about them. What I do know is that is nightmare fuel. Two heads under the armpit and a leg for a head. I don't even know if the effigies actually work now. I believe in the latest update, the patch notes said that the effigies do keep cannibals away now. But I haven't tested it yet. I mean, seeing as though Sabrina's got them up, maybe it is working. Everything seems to be okay, though. She's got so many traps. She's got all the happy birthday traps, two noose traps. It's a smaller build, but easier to defend. That's probably the most sensible bet. She's got plenty of food here, too. I'm sure she won't mind if I take two lizards. I'm supposed to be the one looking after everybody's base, not taking everybody's food. So I owe Belle for deerskin. I need to bring back some more food for Sabrina, too. Looks like she's been busy hunting. Look at this, all the deer skin, the deer heads. Got the bed there, the weapons rack, she's got the katana all in place. Stair up to the second level, all the explosives and molotovs. Bone armor, all the skin. It's looking pretty good. 
Maybe there's more than meets the eye to Sabrina. Maybe she knows what she's doing in a survival situation. Like I say, guys, I really don't know too much about Soldier's background or Sabrina's for that matter. So maybe we'll have to go on a hunting episode soon. Find out more about those characters. Everything looks okay, though. Is this one all right? Yeah, it's just sunk into the ground a little bit. Hell of a view from behind that base. Okay guys, so we're back, and this will be the final base that we need to check on. I did check on the survivor camp, nothing has changed too much over there. But if I remember right... This did not look like this last time. And I think this is Taco's base. Yeah, all his walls and defenses are gone. Now, if you're wondering why he's got this many defenses, just literally over this hill is the main cannibal camp. Yeah, it looks like the cannibals have been literally destroying his defenses. Yeah, his main gate's gone too. Holy shit, they've busted all the way through. At least his house is okay. Even his deadfall trap's gone off. Let me reset that. Might be a good trap if they try and go for that food over there. Is he around the area? Because... I don't know whether I should repair this or not. I don't know if he's abandoned it. Okay, guys, so we're back. Now, I've just tried to repair as much as I possibly could. I mean, the damage around Taco's base is a lot worse than I first thought. I think there's a cannibal over there, too. But I remember Taco having a lot more defenses around this outside wall, and he definitely had a gate, which is no longer there anymore. So I think he's taken the brunt of the attacks from the cannibals. I mean, with him being as close to the main camp, I think he might have expected it. But what's worrying me the most is there's not even any blueprints down. And there is absolutely no sign of Taco, and he was here earlier. So, I mean, I'm going to take one final look around his base just to make sure at least his home's intact. I mean, all his weapons are here as well. He's got, like, the dynamite, the explosives. This doesn't seem to have taken any hits, but that outside wall is almost gone compared to what he had. His skin rack's empty too. He had all kinds of skin on that as well. He's got, like, different levels where he can just come outside. He can take some shots from here. But I remember as well, he had more defenses going around that way. Maybe he's moved to a different location. Okay guys, so we're back. And I think I've worked out why the cannibals are so pissed. And why they've taken out their frustration on Taco's base. I think the survivors have completely blocked out the main village. And it doesn't stop there, like it goes all the way around the main village. And look at this. All the way down there, all the way down to the river too, there's a bridge that leads all the way around. And look, you can see this. Look, they can't get in. There's two armsies down there. No wonder they're pissed. The survivors have been super busy trying to keep the cannibals out of their own home. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's try and get a little bit even for Taco. I don't have any alcohol. Do I have anything I can use? I have some bone arrows and the normal arrows. Let's just try and take them down old school. We did this before the fire arrows and the poison arrows all came along. In fact, I think I might have some resources to make the poison arrows. It's been a while since I've taken on two armsies at once, so this is going to be a bit of a test. Sounds like there's some cannibals up there too. Got all these effigies though. Let's see how they react if I bring them over this side. Are they going to come over this way? Normal arrows, a couple of those. I especially want the poison arrows now, just to slow the mutants down. I'm gonna keep those cannibals away. All right, let's see how you react if we bring you over to the effigies. Let's see, get mad. Get mad. slowed him down. That doesn't look like it slowed him down. What 
was that? Is he going to come near the effigies? Oh, wait. They definitely do come near the effigies. I didn't know if it was going to have any effect on them. All right. Hopefully, that'll be enough to slow them both down. Ooh, oh, shit. I think it is working, but I'm a little bit too nervous just to get too close to them because I know I don't have the best armor on. I think it's the reach. You can see how annoyed they are. Look at that. Let's pump him full of them. Go down. How many arrows is that now? That's got to be at least 10. Oh! Shit! That's the one I was concentrating on. Get this one first. There we go. Get all the arrows back. That's one down. I think I'm out of poison arrows. I think I'm just going to pump him full of normal ones. Wait, do I have any bone ones? Yeah, I do. You going to give it up? And there we go. Two armsies. It's really been such a long time since I've had to fight two of them off. But again, guys, make sure you use the poison arrows. They come in so handy, especially slowing them down. I think it's more effective on the cannibals than it is the mutants, but I don't know. Maybe on Virginia it's a different story. I have been playing around with it, but not really had enough time to play around with it as much with the uh, with the mutants. But look at this. Look at the scale of this. It's no wonder they're pissed. All the effigies too. The survivors are really trying to make a point of this, that this island is not the cannibals anymore. And you can see my base all the way in the distance as well. But I think, guys... We're all out of time. All in all, a pretty successful day of taking a look at everybody's bases, and it looks like nobody's taken any real damage. I mean, even Tacos hasn't taken that much considering where he's next to. I mean, I can understand why the cannibals are pissed because they've been completely blocked out of their main home. But guys, that's gonna be it for me today. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.